Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Forever and ever and ever you reign forever. Your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns. Above all, hey, above all, hey. Your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns. Above all, above all. Your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns. Above all, yeah, yeah. Above all. Your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns. Above all. Above all. Your kingdom reigns. In my life, Hallelujah. in my life, your kingdom reign, your kingdom reign, in my life, in my life, your kingdom reign, your kingdom reign, in my life. Above all, above all, your kingdom reign, your kingdom reign. Above all, above all, your kingdom reign, your kingdom reign, your kingdom reign. Yes, it rains in our lives. Yeah. Of the increase of his kingdom and his peace, there shall be no end.
the mighty one. We exalt you. Thank you for the beauty of your presence. One generation shall declare your praise to another. From the rising of the sun to the going out of the same. Your name above every idol. Above every religion. Hallelujah. I welcome you tonight. Koinonia. God is making men. Equipping us by the spirit of God. Empowering us by his anointing. Teaching us his ways. Causing that our eyes see. The Bible says Jesus went with the two men at Emmaus. And he said when he broke the bread their eyes were open. And he quickened them and granted unto them understanding. Father tonight the entrance of your word gives life. And it gives understanding unto us. Bless our hearts and cause your word to prosper in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. everlasting to everlasting you are God do not send us from here with your presence go ahead not with us for how shall the nations know that we are separated accept your presence go ahead with us in your presence that's where I am strong in your presence, oh Lord, my God, in your presence. That's where I belong. I am seeking your face, touching your grace. In your presence, O oh God. In your presence, O oh God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Don't envy any future that you are seeing from the people in the world. Are you listening to me? No matter what their harvest looks like, we are coming. We are an inferno of fear. Listen. What you are seeing is their harvest. Nobody has seen your harvest. The Bible says, Now are we the sons of God? And it does not yet appear. Let me tell you something. We are coming with a dimension of grace. A dimension of power, wisdom, audacity, light. From the Spirit. Like my brother said, he said, He that shared my sayings and keepeth them is like one who about to build his house on a rock first digs. He said, The remnant of the house of Jacob shall bear root downwards and then bear fruit forward. I am convinced that we will salvage our generation from the bondage of corruption. I am convinced. That we are the army <laughs> we may not look like it but we represent a government that is able yeah. hallelujah all right let's let's get into the word hallelujah i plan to do a teaching tonight very quickly so that we can beat time hallelujah please look up let's just I'll be doing a quick teaching on the spirit of faith. 
Say after me, the spirit of faith. I need your heart to be open tonight. Hear me, friends. Because from the teaching tonight, I trust that something will enter your spirit that will set you on fire. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Lord, we thank you. Verse 13. Second Corinthians 4. Please make sure you have something to write if you can. Hallelujah. Every time you're coming, especially if it's a teaching. Try to come with something. Hallelujah. Verse 13. It says, We, having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed. You see where we got that song? I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Hallelujah. So I believed and therefore have I spoken. He said we also believe and therefore we speak. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I need you to understand that the kingdom life is a faith life. Are you listening to me? The kingdom life is a faith life. God designed his system that way. God designed his kingdom that way. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, I believe chapter 10, it says the labor of the fool weary at him because he does not know the road to the city. It didn't say because there is no city. The labor of the fool weary at him because he does not know the road to the city. Hallelujah. The spirit of faith. The kingdom life is a life of faith. Hallelujah. And so it's so important because we have many citizens of the kingdom who do not understand that the kingdom life is built on faith. Hallelujah. The concept of faith is not a movement. It's our lifestyle. Are you listening to me? It's not just about word of faith or the charismatic. Or, no, 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 no. It's the life of every true citizen of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Four times in scripture, the Bible records that the just shall live by faith. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. Galatians chapter 3 verse 11. And Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38. Four times in scripture, the Bible emphasizes that the just shall live faith as a matter of fact god died i mean the bible ties pleasing god to the manifestation of faith hebrews 11 verse 6 he said for without faith it is impossible to please god for he that cometh unto god must believe that he is he exists and then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him hallelujah and so it's very important for believers to understand the concept of faith Say after me, the just shall live by faith. Our victory in this kingdom is tied to faith. Our victory. You cannot live a victorious life in this kingdom and in this system without faith. It's so important. First John chapter 5 verse 4. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to rush so we cannot really do a proper bible study to look scripture by scripture but write it and study it first john chapter 5 verse 4 it says and this is the victory that overcome the world even our faith say after me faith is the victory he said this is the victory that overcomes sickness poverty this is the victory that overcomes failure this is the victory that overcomes death this is the victory even our faith so the subject of faith is so important if you want to be relevant in the kingdom. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. What then is faith? What then is faith? Hallelujah. When you go to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, the Bible says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Please, can someone help me with money? Any amount? Just... Hallelujah. Praise God. Someone come. Anybody. Watch this. I want to show you what faith is. Look up please. Now, I want you to know that what money is to this realm, faith is to the realm of the spirit. Look up. Just look up and let me show you something. When, assuming you want to buy water. Hallelujah. And this water is 1,000 naira. When Aaron comes to meet me and says he wants to buy water, take. Have I given him water? But I have given him the substance of what he's hoping for. The evidence. This is the evidence that he will give in exchange for what he wants. Are you listening to me? So that every time he comes to the person who has water, if you can present this, if your title did, then the commodity will be delivered. So Paul says, faith is our purchasing power in the realm of the spirit. Are you listening to me? Faith is that commodity of transaction. That our legal tender in the realm of the spirit. Economy say money is legal tender. We use it for transaction. In the realm of the spirit, your faith is required to bring down any and everything. Hallelujah. So, if I want to purchase greatness according to the integrity of God's word, faith is that substance. That's the reason why when you see a man who is full of faith, that man has everything. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. So I need us to, I want to be very practical so that we will live here and begin to command notable victories in our lives. I'll give you three quick definitions of faith. Number one, faith is your unshakable confidence. Unshakable confidence in God's word and in the integrity of his person and also in his ability. God's word, the integrity of his person. The Bible says, God, he sought for one who was greater than him so that he would swear by and not finding any man the bible says he swore by himself that by these two immutable things it is impossible for god to lie so faith is your unwavering unshakable confidence when you read the book of romans chapter 4 the bible gives us a, an example it gives us the the breakdown of the dimensions of faith that Abraham walked in. And the Bible says he wavered not at his faith through unbelief. So faith is what? Your unshakable confidence. That you say, if I perish, I perish. But I know God is able. That's why the Bible says, for I know whom I have believed. He said, and I am persuaded. I am convinced that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him unto that day. There are many believers who doubt God. We feel that. Is God really able? He is able more than able to accomplish what concerns me today. He is able He's more than able To handle Everything that comes my way He is able More than able To do much more than I could ever dream To do much more than I could ever dream He 
He's able to lead me where He wants me to go. He's able to teach me what He wants me to know. Show me what He wants me to see. He's able to give me what He wants me to have. He's able to make me what He wants me to be. That's faith. Your unshakable confidence that I know God is able. It may not look like it. I may not see the wind. I may not see rain. But I know that when God says there will be water, there will be water. I respect his wisdom and artistry. I know that the raw material for creating everything is called nothing. Hallelujah. So faith is your unshakable confidence. Number two, faith is your obedient response to the word of God. Or the voice of God. Faith is your obedient response. Your obedient response to the word of God. The written principles in the word. Or the voice of God as he communicates to you. Your obedient response. This definition suggests that faith is a doing thing it's an action word hallelujah without a doing there's no faith faith is what your obedient response hallelujah now please um Aaron can I use you again I'd like you to just stand here everybody look up Aaron come this is faith hallelujah repeat it again just stand there Aaron come obedient response to my word so go back now Aaron I have this for you come and take alright now but keep saying I am coming and don't come are you listening to me Aaron take keep confessing I'm coming be jumping and saying I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. that's what a lot of believers are doing and they call that faith are you seeing that but they, they are not getting the promise and they are saying God you are not faithful faith is your obedient response I appreciate Aaron great guy so faith is what your obedient response when you respond to the word of God when you respond to his principles the Bible calls that faith. I trust that tonight God will fix the missing link in our equation. Amen. Number three. Faith can also be a supernatural impartation upon you. A supernatural impartation that grants you access to function in God's capacity. Supernatural impartation. So what the Bible calls the gift of faith. Supernatural impartation has nothing to do with your level of world life. When it comes upon anything, it will reproduce God's result exactly. Hallelujah. It's important. Look up, please. Isn't it interesting that we have when the Bible ties the victory of the kingdom to faith? There are so many believers who have never thought on what faith is. We just have an imaginary thing that, okay, faith is just, faith has something to do with me and God. Hallelujah. You'll never be victorious in life that way. Hallelujah. Out of these three definitions, the first two are my subjects of discussion, especially the second one. Faith is your obedient response. Kabo Satan your obedient response to God's word hallelujah and I'm going to teach you something I call the faith equation the faith equation 
those of you who are science students understand that when you add up everything this plus that plus that then you say equal to you can summarize all of those things so that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side hallelujah the faith equation let me tell you if you leave this equation your life you will be scared of your own results has nothing to do with gender are you listening to me has nothing to do with your background once you are in christ and the spirit of god lives in you and you have grace to adhere to these principles that i'm teaching you you can turn any wilderness into a fruitful man hallelujah the bible makes us to understand that faith cometh how what scripture is that romans 10 oh yeah, yeah, yeah 10. 10 what <laughs> romans 10 17 so therefore faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god faith does not come by reading newspaper are you listening to me i mean bible faith i'm not talking of mental ascent there are too many believers that think they have faith but their lives obviously show that there is no faith the end of your faith is a manifestation hallelujah faith does not come by reading chase magazines faith comes by hearing and hearing by what the word of god only the word of god has the capacity to impart faith in your spirit so if you ever want to be a man or a woman of faith then you must be a man or a woman of the word if you're not a man of the word if you're not a woman of the word you can never have faith that's why i question people who i know do not stay with the word and you see manifestations in their life something is wrong somewhere faith true faith is incubated when you take in the word faith comment by hearing and hearing by the word of god so say after me faith comes into my life as i stay with the word faith comes into my life as i stay with the word there are so many people who don't even care about the word you don't buy books you don't build yourself you don't get any you don't stay you don't, at all and every time we study the word we think we are doing god a favor we are just registering our spirituality man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god proverbs chapter 4 says my son pay attention to my words he said incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from your eyes keep them in the midst of your heart he said they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh they are life not to every christian to those who find them for you to find a thing you must search he said in, in isaiah 34 he says seek out of the book and read none of these things shall fail none shall want her mate seek out of the book and read he said i daniel understood by books there must be a seeking that's why i love that song i will search for you and i will find you it's not it's not really that god is lost in a sense you understand but the bible says that is the glory of God to conceal a matter and the honor of kings to search it out hallelujah so there must be the word and in that word you will find two basic things number one promises two or three things really promises principles instructions promises principles instructions never forget this you will find promises you will find principles you will find instructions every time you study the bible 
whether you are reading a story you are reading the gospels you are reading the poetic books history books revelation whatever it is you will find one of these three things promises principles instructions hallelujah when you get these promises that god has spoken certain things about you in the world then you the next assignment is to get that word into your spirit and the only way you get that word into your spirit is by believing it hallelujah romans chapter 10 verse 10 for with the heart man believes you don't believe with your mind there are so many believers that believe with their mind and that's why it's not true. real faith is born of the spirit for with the heart man believes unto righteousness let me tell you something every time you confess what you don't believe is the same thing as not saying anything are you listening to me there are so many believers that confess things they don't believe and it doesn't work so your first assignment it's not just to find promises and say hallelujah i am blessed i am rich calm down you've got to take it in your spirit this is where a lot of us have been missing it and how do you believe the process of believing is achieved through the means the bible calls meditation this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then afterwards you will have good success you, you shall make your ways prosperous and you will have not just success good success joshua chapter 1 verse 8 hallelujah and so you meditate it's what we call in theology the doctrine of contemplation you think through but you're not just thinking mentally you ponder for instance when you read the bible and in john i believe john chapter uh, what now 12 or 14 it says verily verily i say unto you or let's say john 10 10 for instance it says what the thief cometh not is that correct the thief cometh not to steal but to steal to kill and to destroy he said i have come many of us just read and say hallelujah and then you pass to the next no you sit down meditate i have come i have come you laid aside your majesty gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created you took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today you reign in heaven hallelujah so you meditate i am come from where and you just think through and say he left his throne and he became a man and went through all of this to give you a life and he called that life zoe and as you brood on it the bible says he looked at them and he breathed upon them and say receive ye the spirit while you are incubating on that word there is a transfer of real bible faith hallelujah let me tell you something when the word enters your spirit the next process without your control is to speak that's how god designed his system the moment how many of you have been watching something or listening to a message suddenly you say Shakata, ba, 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 ba. no it's not that you're just trying to do it people think you are shouting it's a response to something that has entered your spirit yeah. hallelujah and so while you're meditating the lord begins to tell you that this is a life superior to sickness superior to failure and then it's entering your spirit and then suddenly other scriptures begin to come yea do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death because
because of this life i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil and my cup runneth over and then you remember the story of paul how that a viper beat him and he shook him suddenly faith is entering your spirit when you rise then the next process you begin to declare you begin to declare Cabo Saparia. you begin to declare you confess you speak you decree Mark 11 verse 23 Jesus speaking to the tree he said verily verily I say unto you if thou shalt say to this mountain be thou removed and cast into the sea and will not doubt in your heart but believe that those things that you have said will come to pass he said then you will have it if thou shalt say not think not wish not cry not lament kings reign in a kingdom system through their words that's why the bible says where the word of a king is there is power hallelujah so i meditate on this scripture it says gentiles come to my light and kings to the brightness of my rising and when it's in my spirit i begin to speak gentiles come to my light there is the light of god arising in my spirit I'm not just making empty confessions. They are confessions that are a response. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. If you shut your mouth in this kingdom, you shut your destiny. In the world system, if you are quiet, you are considered gentle. The Bible says a fool, even when he's silent, is considered wise. In the kingdom system, if you keep quiet, you shut your mouth. So that's why when Satan wants to kill people, he first sends depression. Do you know that the common characteristic of depression is it brings you to a point of silence and then satan destroys you because when you shut your mouth let me tell you as powerful as you are the principal outlet to that power is through your mouth out of your belly shall flow flow to through where hallelujah Bible says in Job 22 28, it says, Declare ye that thou mayest. Okay, so uh, ye shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Hallelujah. So, in the faith equation, there is speaking. Say after me, faith speaks. That you get up and call the Bible says let the redeemed of the Lord he didn't say let them think so he already called them redeemed but he said they should say it there's something about saying let the blessed of the Lord say so let the righteous of the Lord say so let the prosperous of the Lord say so let the anointed of the Lord say so he said he that dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of his wings he said i will say of the lord i will say of the lord hallelujah so confess you speak you declare isn't it amazing that many believers think faith and believing is the same thing i want you to know that faith and believing is not the same many people have only believed and wondered why the result didn't come are you getting blessed tonight faith and believing is not the same believing is part of manifesting the process of faith it doesn't stop there the last step to the faith and this is probably the most neglected friends for many of you tonight i connect that that faith equation obedience obedience not many people have been taught 
that obedience completes the faith equation obedience I told you that faith is your obedient response obedience there are very few promises in the Bible that just happen automatically are you listening to me a majority of the promises that are in scripture are tied to conditions say after me conditions they are also tied to instructions say after me instructions and until you completely obey principle and the instruction you will never get the results so there are many believers that confess i am prosperous i am blessed hallelujah things are working but it's not showing in their life Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Very quickly. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Help us, Holy Spirit. My faith is reaching out to you. Lord, I believe your word for me today my faith reaches out to you i believe your word for me today hallelujah deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to what? to observe and to to do all, not some look up your obedience must be complete hallelujah until your obedience is complete God is not committed to perform to observe and to do all his commands he said which I commanded this day that the Lord thy God this is the blessing will set thee high as I'm saying this is entering my spirit high above all nations he said and all these blessings shall come on thee and shall overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God many people don't read that part they just sing blessed shall you be blessed shall you be now that's wonderful but before you read before you start that part you must find out there are so many believers who just coin out a promise that suits their need and begin to pull God's neck and say God you said this God you told me I will be rich you said the wicked will transfer their wealth to me and God says, hold on. The, the system of God has an economic system. And you must find out how it works. Are you listening to me? So, before we just begin to claim and speak scriptures, you must know that the word of God always commits you to obey. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. He said, if ye, if, there's a condition there. If, that means it's within your power. If ye be willing and obedient. He said, you will eat the good of the land. Every land has good, including Zaria. Are you listening to me? I hear all kinds of stories and nonsense. People run to Abuja, run to Lagos, run to everywhere, run to America, run to London, run to whatever. Not because God sent them there. You ask them, where? Well, what are you looking for? They say greener pastures. The only green pastures I know is God's word. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down. He didn't mention the name of any country there. He makes me lie down in green pastures. What green pastures are we around looking for? Everywhere in this world, disobedient people are suffering. Everywhere. So all these, all these green pastures stress that people put upon themselves, 
let me tell you a king a palace doesn't make a king if a king lives in a hut that hut will be called a palace Jesus said man was not created for the Sabbath the Sabbath was created for man there's no excuse why you should not rule and reign it's a rule thou in the midst of your enemies if ye be willing and what are you can you just let the people see that scripture if it's possible if ye be willing Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 if ye be willing and what obedient so there's a condition that you are willing if ye be willing and what and what there are many people that are willing to be rich but the money is not coming there are many people that are willing to be anointed but they are not they are not getting an, the anointing there are many people that are willing to know god but something is wrong that's the missing link obedience it says you will eat the good of the land hallelujah so your faith is not yet complete listen faith is not just saying what god has said faith is doing what god has said all the patriarchs of old they got their their title as men of faith and men of valor because ultimately obedience brought them to that place abraham for instance in genesis 22 let's look at that very quickly genesis 22 lord cause our faith to come alive in the name of the lord jesus genesis 22 if you are there say amen, amen. verse 3 when god gave him an instruction to take his son verse 3 he says and abraham rose up early say after me early delayed obedience is disobedience in a measure there are many people listen if i look up please let me use shegu as, as an example all right shegu if i say stand up just delay and then sluggishly stand up after a while are you listening stand up there's a snake about to bite you that's what a lot and then they sluggish before you stand up you'll be injured so bad the bible says abraham rose up what early there are many people that god gives instructions to and things to do either sow a seed do something pray we we sluggishly try to obey and during that time you suffer severe casualties that even if you have obeyed it looks like you didn't obey delayed obedience is disobedience in a measure he says so thank you sir he said abraham rose up early god said abraham take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest and offer him as a burnt offering on a mount that i'll show you and the bible says verse 3 abraham rose up early hallelujah and then in in verse 12 let's go to verse 12. when god saw his he saw his obedience he said lay not thy hand upon thy lad neither do anything to him for now i know that thou fearest me seeing that thou hast not withheld thy son thy only son hallelujah and from verse 15 and the angel of the lord called out to abraham out of heaven the second time and said by myself i have sworn saying said the lord for because thou hast done say after me done there must be a doing because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son thy only son that in blessing i will bless you in multiplying i will multiply you and I see it as the stars of the heavens and the sands upon the seashore. He said, And thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. I hope you know that all these blessings came on the wings of total obedience. So if you are not willing to obey God, forget about faith. There are so many disobedient believers. Show me a disobedient believer, and then I show you a faithless believer hallelujah moses exodus chapter 40. many of us use exodus chapter 40 in our worship meetings as a scripture 
to provoke the presence of God. But we need to understand that the Shekinah of God rested upon that tabernacle on account of total obedience. The presence of God will come only when his conditions are met. Hallelujah. We'll just jump and look at um, just some scriptures. I want to show you something. Exodus 40 verse 16. Just look at verse 16. Thus did Moses according to all that the Lord has commanded him. So did he. He said thus did Moses according to all all not some according to all he did he didn't say he didn't wish he built according to pattern hallelujah verse 19 i'll just read the b part verse 19 as the lord has commanded moses are you seeing it there as the lord has commanded moses go to verse 21 as the lord has commanded moses moses kept doing this thing verse 23 and he set the bread in order upon it before the Lord as the Lord has commanded him you read on verse 25 27 29 32 hallelujah verse 32 he says as the Lord had commanded Moses and then something happened from verse 34 when Moses had finished and had obeyed totally something happened he said then the cloud covered the tent of congregation and the glory of the Lord fill the tabernacle the next verse he said and moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of god filled the tabernacle many of us want glory oh glory glory the power of god no 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 there are steps when your obedience is complete the glory of god will come god kept watching that building never for once did his glory show up the Bible says, and so Moses finished. When your obedience is complete, then the Lord will step in to prove himself strong and mighty. Hallelujah. So say after me, obedience completes the faith equation. Say after me, obedience completes the faith equation. There are so many believers who want to be blessed and prosperous. They, they bless God and say I'm prosperous but there are conditions for instance Malachi chapter 3 the Bible says will a man rob God verse 10 he said the nation of Israel speaking he said yeah, yeah wherein uh, he said ye have robbed me you know and then they say wherein have we robbed you he said in tithes and offerings he said you are cursed hallelujah you are cursed with a curse for ye have robbed me even this whole nation hallelujah and then verse 10 says bring ye all your tithes all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now here with say the lord if i will not open prove me by your obedience prove me by your obedience how many believers don't tithe when god bless you you just think god wants your money and then you're getting poor and you're saying lord i don't understand though I'm praying every night. I'm fasting every night. Prayer and fasting will never replace obedience. Are you listening to me? When you pray and fast, if you do it truly, at the end of that fasting, God will show you what is wrong. He will lead you back to the word. Hallelujah. There are many believers who wonder why they find themselves their thoughts are not ordered by the lord the bible says, how shall a young man keep his way pure by meditating on the law of the lord you can't be watching all the things you are watching and wondering why your mind is always thinking how come i'm doing it? no there are many of us that think on wrong thoughts are you getting blessed and the bible says in philippians chapter 4 verse 8 it says finally whatsoever things pure noble good honest of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things hallelujah faith when your obedience is complete then you commit god to a performance there are so many people that receive dramatic results in their lives remember joshua 
he was given an instruction go around the city seven times and he obeyed when his obedience was complete what happened the wall of jericho fell down remember in first king in second kings now chapter four from verse one to seven the issue of the widow's oil the bible says the wife of the sons of the prophet someone came to carry her children and she met the servant of god elisha and she said what elisha said what can i do for you what do you have in your house he gave her an instruction and the bible says she obeyed hallelujah one of the greatest stories in the old testament that showed the power of obedience is in second kings chapter 5 the story of naaman verse 1 to 14. the bible makes us to understand that naaman was the captain of of the king of syria the captain of the army he said he was a great man but he was leprous and several things happened and then they got to elisha and elisha gave him an instruction go and wash seven times in jordan and he was offended because he was a nobleman hallelujah and after so much conflict verse 14 second kings chapter 5 verse 14 second kings 5 verse 14 it says then when he went down and dipped himself listen all the while he was arguing god said can there not be a better way guess what heaven did not respond isn't it interesting how many of us shout and yell at god and then he just keeps looking at you the moment you obey he steps into the situation he says then he went down and dipped himself seven times in jordan according to the sayings of the man of god and what happened and his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child and he was clean only after he obeyed obedience is so important total prompt obedience hallelujah and so very quickly what's the operation of faith the bible says we believe therefore we speak but it's not just the way the king james puts it it's an equation number one search out for the word of god search out for the voice of god that addresses that area that you are trusting god to give you liberty and breakthrough if it's your finances if it's your health if it's victory in life if it's victory over sin if it's victory over demonic oppression stay with the word seek out of the book that's the first step you want to manifest faith you must find the word the second step meditate on the word until you truly believe it meditate stay with that word there are many believers look up for many of us as believers our growth is not constructive we are reading everything in the bible studying everything there's nothing wrong except that you cannot measure your growth hallelujah sometimes i pick a whole month and i say this month is the month where i will peace his faith until it enters my spirit and that's i will study other things but that's going to be my principal study for that month hallelujah sometimes i may want to study the wisdom of god you need to you need to give yourself spiritual projects and pursue them until you get it many people are reading everything you read on marriage today tomorrow you are reading on on increase another time you are reading on this you are so many things so it little little pieces disjointed things let me tell you something you don't build a building by just putting all the tools you build according to pattern imagine if we are building this house i hope you know that zinc is required to make this house complete but imagine if after the foundation then you put zinc on top do you have a house that's what a lot of believers are doing so although we have the right tools they are not arranged properly such that they can command results for us in the realm of the spirit meditate on the word believe the word of god get bible on mp3 hear me get an mp3 you have a phone get messages that can impart faith into your spirit there are lots of koinonia messages here there are lots of eni messages you can get these things put in your phone other messages that are relevant invest in the word of god hallelujah 
while you are lying down in your room just let the bible on tape just just let it pray and while your body is sleeping your spirit is receiving and you have dreams in line with these scriptures that are you will hear it from the realm of the spirit and you will wake up finding out that you are hearing the right thing there is there is a a a renewal of your mind hallelujah there are many people that are so full of the word that even when they lie down when they turn you just hear them turn and say lord i give you praise thy rod and thy staff they don't even know they are talking there are others where you sleep ah you don't come because that's what you are putting in your mind Hey, I know they go again. I better leave me. And the next day, if they tell you you did that, you say no. Because out of their body, see, your spirit will give what you have invested in it. So when you become full of the word, sometimes you will lie down. And once you just turn, Kapo Satabakaya. And your roommate say, Ah, what, what kind of person is this? That even when he's sleeping, the word of there is an activity of the word of God. Then when somebody shouts in your room and says, I saw a cat or someone, you just turn and say, Satan, stay clear. And you lie down and sleep. And there's absolute silence. And the people in your room put their hands on their head and say, we have never seen it in this fashion. Are you listening to me? Very, very important. After that, you confess the word. You must declare it. In the morning, in the afternoon, sometimes you're walking it doesn't mean you shout and disturb the community as you're walking just say in the name of jesus i am blessed the favor of god follows me everywhere i go i'm blessed in the city i'm blessed in the country the compelling power of the spirit is at work in me everything i lay my hands to do is blessed pray bless say no one offends me the joy of the lord today is my strength i refuse to be offended i have a forgiving heart i am blessed i see something new i hear something new the counsel of god is upon my tabernacle you're just walking and suddenly you find out that as you're stepping into this your life you will begin to frame your reality by the word of god the bible says through faith hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 we understand that the worlds the systems were framed from or by the word of god you frame your reality there are many of us that get up and say kai the way this day is self ah this weather now oh, let man hustle you know i've stopped you from using that demonic language never celebrate anybody that calls you a hustler politely tell the person i am not i walk circumspectly the spirit of god grants me precision according to isaiah 30 he said and you shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk in it it's those who do not know and do not understand that grope in darkness but when there is light darkness goes never find yourself saying i'm confused hey especially ladies hey i'm come no you are not confused there is a way hallelujah the moment you are you seem um, you know th that there's a cloud of confusion or whatever lock yourself see every time you need direction the next thing to begin to do is begin to pray in tongues lord i need to make a decision thank you for your grace thank you for your grace the wisdom of god is at work i'm there's 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 something i there's a puzzle i need to solve there's something i'm a leader i need to the wisdom of god hallelujah and faith comes and you produce great results hallelujah let me tell you something about faith if you are not responding to the word of god even if you respond you will not get results hallelujah there are many people that just claim whatever they want is so out of touch with god's word and they force god to answer it for instance someone can just sit down and say lord force shegu to sponsor my lunch no rest for him my lunch he must come out of you and then he say okay josh said these are the following steps what's the first step 
the word i've gotten the word second step meditate i be i see it lunch is coming listen it's important that the things we confess and believe for are in line with the word of god are you listening to me even when the holy ghost speaks to you he will not speak to you outside of the word of god every other revelation must line up with god's word the bible calls it the more sure word of prophecy hallelujah there are many people who are trying to look for what the will of god is there's no point looking for what god has already put in his word for instance finding out whether it's god's will for you to do well in life what is the meaning of that is clearly written in god's word hallelujah there are certain things that may not be directly written in god's word are you listening to me for instance where to walk there's nowhere that is written here that aaron will walk in guarantee trust bank zaria on the fifth day of the sixth month of this no no that's where that's why the holy ghost was given to us are you following me now and so as you meditate and as you pray the holy ghost communicates he gives you what we call rema customized word for that situation then you now have a raw material that you can act upon hallelujah so if i'm praying i say lord thank you you meet all my needs and suddenly god just tells me go to shegu now that's a word i listen to me god has spoken to me and then i go to him while i'm taking steps you understand god is already communicating. he can say ah ah uh, i was thinking about you no 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 is god con because hear me according to please can we have amplified jeremiah 1 verse 12 we'll round up with this scripture jeremiah 1 verse 12 is that possible the bible says from amplified that he is alert and active watching over his word it says thus saith the lord to me you have seen well for i am alert and active watching over my word to perform it god is the one who put these principles so as you obey none of your business whether the results will come or not you just move if it is god and you're moving let me tell you something god is watching over it's like he's an overseer watching for many who are obeying his principles and then he looks and says all right the angels can you see this guy is obeying to the latter let the answer let prove myself faithful and let me tell you something no matter how long you wait for god's word if god spoke to you and it has not come to pass that word has not returned to him yet it's going to be accomplished hallelujah very powerful isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 and 11 the bible tells us something powerful about his word isaiah 55 verse 10 and 11 I really feel sorry for believers who don't have respect for the word of god for as the rain and snow come down from the heavens he said and return not there again but water the earth and make it bring forth and sprout that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth hear me he says it shall not return to me void i like amplified without producing any effect useless that means it will never be useless once you find it or god communicates it to you if you complete the faith equation he said but it shall accomplish that which i please and purpose and it shall prosper in the thing for which i sent it so i find from god's word according to jeremiah 29 11, god speaking to me joshua selman and he says i know the thoughts that i think towards you thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end and i look around me and i see that everything around me does not look like the word of god i choose to let the word of god become my eyes i don't look at my situations and circumstances i choose to let the word of god be my eyes hallelujah the bible says the entrance of that word give it light and it says the eye is the light of the body so the word of god becomes my reality even if it has not manifested 
I say in the name of the Lord Jesus, I look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal, subject to change, but the things that are unseen are eternal. I am still blessed, although there's nothing in my pocket. Lord, I will keep tithing. I love you. You are faithful. It may take a while. And that leads me to just two more points I will add. Add to your faith patience. There are so many believers that give themselves time of harvest. And when it doesn't come, do you know the Bible says seed time and harvest? It never said harvest time. Genesis 8.22 Seed time. You can always give yourself time to sow. God brings the harvest. He never said harvest time. Many believers give themselves time for harvest. They say in one month, Lord, if this blessing doesn't come, you are not faithful. After one month, it doesn't come because he's preparing a table for you. And because you see him part, rather than just saying, Lord, although I have not seen this, I know that you are God. And I give you praise. I wait. Hallelujah. While the earth remained, look up. See time and what? And what? It is a harvest time. See time. Many people are saying, Lord, but I've been sowing. I've been committing myself in your house. You said you will bless me. You said I will enjoy. Lord, nothing in my life seems to work. I bring you a message of hope. If the cloud be full of rain, they will empty themselves. One day, God will embarrass you with blessings. That when you say God is too much, God says, uh, uh, too much for what? You have, you have completed the equation. Left hand must be equal to right hand. That's why I told you, don't envy the people you are seeing. Hear me, friends. Behind every glory, there is a story. You are writing your own story today. And don't be ashamed of it. There are many people that have been trusting God, speaking the word. Someone here may be sitting and say, Lord, but I believe you. I've held on to your word. But it looks like things have not changed. I bring you a message of hope. If God be God, then your story has not finished. How many of you have watched films that you watch and then it looks like they killed the actor? And you're like, ah, this film has finished. And then rain on him and mud. Then later on, they'll show him in the night. They'll show the fingers start moving. Carbo satire. Job said, though he slay me, this story is not over. Yet will I praise him. Said, I know my redeemer lives. See, that's why when you see a man of faith, he looks like a madman. When other people are lamenting, he may be in the worst case, but he's giving thanks. A man of faith will look at a situation and just be dancing. And be saying, Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as the Lord knows how. When things are not going right, oh Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as the Lord knows how. How many of you have seen your roommates do that? They lock the door and you see them dancing and sweating. And you're like, now wow. We just said the result and this person didn't do well and with tears in their eyes so they are crying but they are still dancing what what kind of the bible calls it faith they know the story is not see god has already gone into your future and he has come back and said i've seen it it's blessed let me give you expo your future is blessed while we look not at the things that are seen. Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my days. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as the Lord. Oh, hey, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my days. Lord, you are so good. 
my story is not ended yet. There's grace for me. It doesn't matter what has happened around my life. I know my Redeemer lives. And by the operation of the spirit of faith, I am victorious over my finances, over my family. Come on, speak. The word that God gave you will come to pass. No devil can take it. The faith in this place. I believe the word. My destiny is great. My destiny is great. I am great. Hallelujah. Go ahead and begin to speak God's word over your destiny. Everybody, over your ministry, over your business. I see increase. I see greatness on every side. There is favor. Come on, speak. The spirit of faith. We having the same spirit of faith as it is written. I believe and therefore speak. We also believe and we speak. God is faithful. Go ahead and confess. I am the head. I'm not the tail. I'm above. I'm not believe. My life is blessed. My generation will hear my voice. No failure in my life. I am great. The hand of God is upon me. The hand of God is upon me. The favor of God is upon me. I arise. I shine. I arise. I shine. The wisdom of God is upon me. I'm obedient. I'm obedient to the word of God. I'm obedient. The result will come. Favor follows me. Prosperity follows me. For thou, O Lord, I will shield you for me. The winter of my age. For thou, O Lord, for thou, O Lord, Shield for me, are there men of faith in this place? The glory of the Lord is the reason upon me. The favor of the Lord is the reason upon me. I arise and shine, arise, shine, my light is come, and the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is come, my light is come, and the glory of the Lord. The Lord, the favor of the Lord is a reason The favor of the Lord Hallelujah. Very quickly, pair yourselves into two. You're going to prophesy. Hallelujah. Pay hold the hand of somebody, a man or a woman of faith, a brother or a sister. Go ahead and begin to speak over that person's destiny prophesy you are anointed to do it you are the head and not the tail don't give up don't give up the faith of the son of god come on prophesy prophesy upon your brother prophesy upon his destiny prophesy upon your sister that's why we are here Koinonia, the place of prophecy your life is blessed. Your life is blessed. I see you at the top. I see you at the top. The nations are calling you blessed. You are a leader. You are prosperous. Increase on every side. Grace on every side. You are powerful. You are favored. You are like a well-watered garden. Well-watered.
watered garden, well watered garden, every discouragement over your life melts away. Professor, saints of God, generals of the kingdom, custodians of destiny, Professor, command increase, command greatness, command power, command grace. No devil can stop you. Take away the hands of Satan over your brother's life, over your sister's life. No more delay. Your faith is working. Your faith is working in your office, in your class, in your marriage, in your relationship, in your ministry, in your business. Faith, the victory that overcomes. Hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you something. The next set of world shakers. Hear me. I know what I'm saying. No. I know what I'm saying. No. Let me tell you something. The next set of the next set of apostles, prophets, generals, owners of groups, conglomerates, entrepreneurs, media moguls, giants in industry. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters, I speak this unto your destiny. I speak this unto your life. own the TV station. You will own the airport. God will give you. See, let me tell you. You don't look like it. Faith, the purchasing power will bring it to you. You will feed nations. A time will come. Let me tell you something. Presidents will visit you to receive loan to salvage their nation. Oh, believe it tonight. Believe it. Hallelujah. There are many of you here that on account of the grace of God upon your life, people will travel, travel, leave countries, travel to your place. Let me tell you, you will stop wasting your time. There are many of you, you will be so relevant in this country. You will stop using visa to travel. listen this is man and all the things that look like priorities to him are you getting my point every time you stand before principalities and powers and you say in the name of jesus i rebuke you they will first check if they see that there is this priority and this passion hallelujah because it so happens that the your hunger for god and your desire, your priority for him, are you getting my point now? Is proportional to the dimension of his presence that you will see in your life. There are lots of people that can dress well, just like some of you are sitting looking wonderful. And then you turn and tell demons, the Lord rebuke you. Go away, I cast that spirit, or be healed. And these spirits look, and they cannot see the priority of God in you. They see all kinds of, I'm sorry, all kinds of pretense. God is somewhere down the line among your activities. Are you getting my point? Maybe this one is your desire to be successful. Maybe this one is your desire to make money. This one is your desire to get married. And then God is somewhere down the line. Yet, you want to experience his power and his glory let me tell you, you can sing and say everything you want to say. Lord, you mean the world, you mean this and that. But until God becomes a priority, 
the moment God keeps stepping up, I tell you, you will become a dangerous wonder because his presence will not only mantle you, something will begin to happen to you that will rattle the gates of hell everywhere you go. The problem is many people love God, but they are not passionate about God. They are born again, but God is not a priority. Are you getting my point now? How many of you know that I can love this lady, right? But she's not my wife. Is that true? So I love her, but that passion enough to say I want to spend my life with you. That's how many people are. So they say, Lord, I love you. But when you stand side by side with other things, I am not sure those, those things can go for you. And God says, yet you want my glory. Yet you want to see my manifest present. There are many of us, it's money. Money is your first priority. Others, is your quest for success. Other people, is whatever kind of issue. Listen, when you come to a powerful meeting like this, the primary assignment of the Holy Spirit is not just to heal you. Are you getting me? As you begin to worship God, something happens in your spirit. Have you heard that song? Be magnified, oh Lord. This is what happens. So, in the heat of that worship, as your outer man is dying, there is a shifting in the spirit. Are you seeing that? God becomes a greater priority to you. So, suddenly you leave that meeting with a greater passion. But as great as that passion is, it's still not enough. You begin to have encounters, dreams, visions. You begin to see the workings of the spirit in your life. But God looks and says, I'm still not seeing myself. Are you getting my point now? So every time Satan comes, this is what Jesus meant by Satan comes to me and did not find anything. That means before Satan attacks, he will check what in you belongs to me. That becomes his point of attachment to your life. Are you getting my point now? Then you come for another powerful meeting. And while you're singing and hearing the word and worshiping, you come to a point where you say, Kai, this is my hunger for marriage. Although it's an important thing, but you have my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. So you see that there is a transition. Hallelujah. At this point, you begin to see little signs and wonders here and there. God begins to trust you with certain levels of grace. But God still checks and says, I want to do more with you. You may even be ministry at this level. You may be healing the sick at this level. They may be calling you MOG, apostle, prophet, pastor. You may be building churches and cathedrals, but God will say, if you know what I could do with you, if you know what I could do with you, you have 1,000, 5,000 members. If you know what I could do, I can give you an international anointing that can rattle territories. What is this one thing that you are keeping from me? What And, and you say, Lord, bless me. God says, I don't have a problem blessing you. Can I trust you? You say, yes. God says, where is the proof of the trust? I'm still not seeing myself in your life and the more you climb the harder it gets because the things that are closer to your heart are the idols and then finally after seasons of dealings with the spirit I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart lord i will bow lord i will bow to you to no other god but you lord mm. and lord i will worship you Nothing hands have made but you, Lord. Listen, when you get to this point, 
you will see dimensions of grace that will scare you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is what it means. Seek first his kingdom. Every time God sees you, he knows that you want to be rich. He knows that you want to finish your education. He knows that you want to get married. But you have said, Lord, as great as these things are, I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of my. And you say, Lord, compared to marriage or compared to your presence, let money go. Compared to your presence, let marriage go. Compared to everything, at that point, he has become king of kings. And Lord of Lords hallelujah and that is the realm where before you call he will answer God will trust you with levels of wealth that you never dreamt imaginable God will trust you with dimensions of anointing and power and grace and men will say from whence come at this what we have never seen it in this fashion But there are many of us, we want God to be somewhere in our lives. Please take seriously what I'm sharing tonight. You can go back there, sir. Many of us, God is number 70 something, not even number four. 70 something. There are so many things. Bless my mother. Bless my father. Heal me from the cancer. Do everything. Are they wrong? No. But every time God looks at you, he wants to see the priority. Hallelujah. Listen. There are many ministries. I was sharing with someone yesterday. And the person looked at me. And I said, today, there will be so many people coming from everywhere. Trusting and expecting that God is going to bless them. Hallelujah. The person saw how that people were ringing my phones, doing a lot of things. I was praying. I was spending time in God's presence. And I looked, I said, listen, there is a reason. And I learned that from God's servant, Johnson Suleiman. Hallelujah. I've shared the story with you people. When you get distracted, are you getting my point? And get carried away by ministry and all of these things, the protocol people standing well, the great man of God, Joshua Selman, coming to do his things. Those things are deceitful. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They are deceitful. That's why some people will never enter certain levels of grace. Enjoy the honor, but never let it get inside you. Create a space that nothing can take. Belongs to God. God knows that I love him with all my heart. Let ministry go. Let anointing go. Let grace to heal the sick go. It's not my ministry, it's God's ministry. If I die today, you will cry for one week and say, what happened? After that, that's the end of it. The journey continues. When you recognize this, something will happen to you. You will no longer be carried away. Even the anointing, listen, the anointing of the Holy Ghost in your life can become an idol. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The anointing has a compelling effect. When you are healing the sick, casting devils out and doing all of the great things, it's easy to forget that you are under authority and there is one greater than you. There are people tonight, you are not sick, but what you need is fresh fire because you started well. Please don't stop playing. You started well. But as you were going and God trusted you with little levels of grace and anointing, you didn't even know when you left God and started doing ministry. Tonight, you need restoration as a matter of urgency. Some of us, God trusted us with influence. God trusted us with power. Have you heard people tell you, I remember those days. You can't walk to me sick and go back. No. What has happened? 
Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. There are some of us here. Not only is God not a priority, He's not even in the equation of our life. You have never considered it a factor. Are you getting my point now? Many people run to God like an emergency unit in the hospital. Oh God, the herbalist has failed. Since you are the only one left, you better do something. And you harass every man of God around you as if you paid him to make sure you get healed. But when we get blessed, we run away. Listen, I'm saying this again and again. It's not a difficult thing for God to invade our lives. But the question is, can God trust you? Lord, I want spiritual power. Fine. It's available. Can God trust you? Lord, I want prosperity. I want to be a millionaire. Fine. Can God trust you? Lord, I want to get married. Can God trust you? You're not even disciplined as you are. You can't see any lady and go and sit down quietly. You can't see any guy and sit down quietly. Lord, I want marriage. What kind of kids do you want to raise? And God says, it's not a big deal. Can I trust you? Lord, I want a great ministry. Someone was sending me a, a, a text message. And he said, great man of God of our time. Exclamation mark. Then he said a number of other nice things. And at the end of it, you know, he said, oh, this and that and that. And I looked, I said, ah, yeah. He said, I wish to be like you. And I sent him a text. I said, all things are available in the spirit. Can God trust you? This is the question God is asking some of us tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is it really hard for God to heal you? Is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am that's what God is asking you tonight is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am what God is saying you must get to a point where you love me beyond anointing. Listen, I ring this every time. This is the law of exchange. I taught us two weeks ago. You don't get nothing for nothing. That junk does not exist in the kingdom. There is always something. Your heart, your life. Hallelujah. Because there are so many of us, when we see the wonderful things that God is doing in this ministry, and we honor God, you cannot imagine how deeply grateful I am. Let me tell you something. As a leader, I account for only very little of the success of this ministry. Very little. I'm not embarrassed by it. There is one mightier than I am. He's the real owner. What you see happening is just stewardship. It will never confuse me. We never confuse roles with God. I have never tried to take his role. The cross is too heavy to kill me. I know when to stand and allow him do the things that he will. Tonight, God wants your heart. 
Everybody say, God wants my heart. Yes. God wants your heart. Brothers and sisters, it is not a difficult thing for God to change your story. Read the Bible and see how God changed people's situation overnight. There are many of us, it was when you got into trouble that you left God. So wrong. That's when you should hold on to him like the woman with the issue of blood. If your challenges make you run away from God, who will you run to? The devil. Hallelujah. It's not enough to watch miracles. There'll be miracles everywhere. There'll be miracles here tonight. There'll be miracles everywhere. Right? Nobody is doubting that. I told you God said there will be mighty visitations. There will be impartations. And all kinds of visitations. But the trouble is, will you just leave this place happy and excited? Wow! It was great. Did you see the sick person? Did you see the deliverances? Did you see the breakthroughs and the word of knowledge and the manifestation of the gift of the spirit? Did you hear the worship team? Did you see the organization? If that is all you live here with tonight, you have cheated yourself. Because there are many of us who are spectators. We are enjoying the euphoria of organization. But tonight you must lose sight of these things and say, Lord, I have come for business. If you do not change me, I will not be changed. If you do not heal me, I will not be healed. But Lord, take my heart. That's my message. I've been ringing this for years. The Lord told me something years ago. He said, son, if you can let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. Hallelujah. Lord, have your way in our lives. Let this be a true confession. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Especially for those of us who are in ministry. There's all kinds of frustration in ministry. Because many people want power. They want increase. I told you the best way to be in ministry is to get out of ministry. And focus on his presence. That is when you make the loudest noise and the loudest impact. Koinonia will keep rising from glory to glory for as long as our focus is not on the great things. Don't get me wrong. We take time to celebrate what God is doing. We appreciate the wisdom and the excellence. We appreciate the presence and the leadership of the spirit. But let me tell you above and beyond this our hearts we are dead men I can tell you this we have given him everything if God says this is the last miracle service this is the last koinonia service there is nothing left no more koinonia I will announce it to you as I've had it I will join you crying you will join me crying we'll hold ourselves and walk out of this place and I'll go back and say thank you Jesus what do I do next do you love God that much? Can you lay down in quote the walls that you have spent years building at the request of God? Can you lay it down? You spent years going to school. At the end of it, God said, just keep it. And we'll take another turn. You say, God, no way. You don't cheat me like that. I'm a smart Nigerian. There's a way I can walk. We can patch it up. Hallelujah. There are many of you, you have, you have refused to get married because God has told you that married man you are doing part-time relationship with, break up completely so that God will give you a full-time husband. You are saying, oh Lord, who is going to take care of my needs? You are born again. But he is not a priority in your life. And then you sleep in the night and all kinds of demonic things come. And you cry in the name of Jesus. And the demons even help you to shout. He said, let me help you say it louder. And you are like, Jesus Christ, what is going on? 
The name of Jesus is only powerful when it is in the lips of those who are lovers of God indeed. Hallelujah. Koinonia, listen to me. It is never my ambition. Please, I want you to hear this. It is never my ambition to remain, in quote, a superstar man of God who always comes to sit down. Here comes Joshua Selman, protocol leading him. And I come and I sit down. Wonderful. And the worship team sings. I told you, we, we taught on the ecclesia last week. And I told you that the purpose of the church is to be trained and released to enforce the kingdom. If all we are doing is becoming great men of God and you are not rising, then we are failures even if the world is clapping for us. The goal is that the least person among us will become as great as David. There is space for everybody in the world. Even if all of us become men of God, there are enough sinners to occupy everybody. There are enough sick people to occupy everybody. But the problem is, will God have your heart? Sister, if you can give God your heart, there is nothing he cannot make out of your life. Yes, you graduated with a third class. You know, humanly speaking, that in Nigeria, that third class may not give you a job. You go for an interview, you are embarrassed. You don't even want to show your, your result because you see rows of first class students, genuine first class students, and you are wondering. And Lord, the Lord is saying, can you give it to me? Give me that certificate and see what I will make out of your life. Lord, help me trust you. Help me trust you. What makes us believe that you, you, you are destroyed when you come to God? There is an ugly theology flying around the church. That theology that God makes failures out of people who love him. I tell you, it's not true. The temporary moment of suffering and constraints may be there. Romans chapter 8 verse 18 says, I reckon that the sufferings there will be constraints it's not going to be a landslide movement but if you can wait you will rise like the eagle and you will astonish men Lord we want to see your power and your glory in our lives and so we seek you if God does not give you a job, no man can give you. No herbalist can give you. No Godfather can give you. If God does not preserve your life, even if Boko Haram does not bomb you, have you not heard of people who sat down quietly in their house and a truck came and carried everybody? If the Lord has not been our help, now may Israel say, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people. That set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I waked for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory. You lift my head, but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Tonight, God is calling on us. Everybody, listen to me, inside and outside. Would you make God a priority? Win the war in your heart this night and let God become your priority. What is it that has taken his place? I know you are sick in your body, but tonight there are women here, there are mothers, there are people here. Fathers, you saw the glory of God in the days of your youth. 
But the pain of Nigeria has drifted a lot of people away from God. For me to leave God is death. He has become my obsession. Has nothing to do with ministry. You love God. But if that guy should stand side by side with God, you will choose him. Hallelujah. I want you to see the power of God. We are going to soon stand up. And we'll have a few minutes of prayer and worship. And we'll just let God. I tell you there will be a mighty visitation in this place tonight. The Lord told me this. There will be a mighty visitation. Hallelujah. But the Lord is calling you. He's calling you deeper. 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 He's calling you deeper. 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 He's calling you deeper. 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 Hallelujah. Where is God? MOG. Where is God in your ministry? Somewhere behind. While ministry programs and conferences and conventions have taken his place. Businessman and woman, where is God in the equation of your life? Prospective husband and wife, where is God in the equation of your life? Students, where did you keep God? This is Chem 3 1 something, sociology something something, this and that, and Jesus Christ is somewhere roaming around. Needed like a herbalist when the going is tough, and then you return him back. Tonight, may an addiction for the things of God come upon your life. Please listen to me. This is the realm that when you walk in, no power in existence can prevail over you. Challenges are okay. Defeat is unusual for a Christian. Hallelujah. Many of us have come here tonight because you are hungry. Some of us have come because we are at the end of our road. Someone just invited you and said you have tried everywhere. You've gone to Zaria City. You've done everything. Why don't you just come to God? And you dragged yourself here and said, well, Lord, let's see what happens. I tell you, you are in for a shock tonight. God will beat you above and beyond your expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless you guys. Rise up on your feet, everybody. We are going to pray. Just two prayer points. And then we'll worship. Lift your hands and lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Take everything, oh God. Come on, pray now, everybody. Take everything. Take everything. My life belongs to you. Take the talent, oh God. Take the talent. Take the gift. Take everything. Pray from the depths of your heart and say, Lord, in any way, in any way, I have allowed other things to take your place in my life. Tonight I repent. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. Pray from the depths of your heart. Many of us have never given our hearts to the Lord. You've gone to church. You have a Christian name. But you've never given your heart to the Lord. It's not enough to see power. It's not enough to see miracles. 
Hallelujah. I'm going to make a very serious altar call right now. I don't want you to sit down thinking about it because I know there are people. There are people here tonight, inside and outside. Probably you followed someone and you came. Probably you are struggling with a sickness or a terminal disease. The doctor has given you the letter and said you have a few months to live. It all starts with Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. There are two sets of people I'm going to call. And they will all come at once. Those who have never made a decision. Don't deceive yourself tonight. I don't care whether you're a pastor, whether you're a pope. You've never given your heart to Jesus. To say, Lord, I, I surrender my life truly. And then there's the second category. Those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of lying to myself. I know that this thing I'm doing is not Christianity. I need a fresh start. People have told me it's alright. I want to make my way right. Yes, you have come out once. You even prayed for. You even fell down under the anointing. But you are saying, Lord, I'm rededicating my life tonight. Those two categories of people, as I, as I count one to ten, I like you to run like you are running away from fire. Right now, inside and outside. One. Two. Run like you are running for escape. Run like like there is fire burning and it's a matter of urgency forget about your friends forget about who is looking at you or who is not looking at you this is the key to a glorious destiny keep coming keep coming Keep coming. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have done. I don't care who is castigating you. Jesus is ready to give you a new beginning tonight. Everything I give to you withholding nothing. Don't sit back there. When the Holy Ghost is asking you to come out, God is still telling me that He's talking to people. God is still speaking to people. Many people inside. Many people outside. Forget about your friend. This is a destiny decision. I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Every those of you in front here, begin to open up your heart to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Cry out your heart. Say, Lord, enough is enough. We're holding nothing. Come on, sing it one more time. I surrender all. Everything I give to you With holding nothing With holding nothing Will you give your heart away? That's what God is asking you to Those of you in front Will you give your life away? So he can use you you give your life away will you give your life away so you can use you Lord I give myself away pray don't let your tears stop you you may cry but pray you. One more time, everyone. I give myself away.
I see some of you crying. I see some of you under heavy demonic oppressions. But let me tell you, this is the best decision you have made tonight. It's never too late to start. I don't care what you have done. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. I want you to know, those of you here, it is never too late with the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He won the victory. He gave you the victory on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. There are many things happening in your life. And the solution is not to go and try to solve it some other way. You must make up your mind and say from today. Hallelujah. You must be determined from your heart. That's how it starts. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Come and worship with me. Hallelujah. You've won it all for me. For me, just that part one more time. Hallelujah! 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 You have won the victory. Your hands those of you in front i'm about to lead you to a very serious prayer you're not reciting a poem we are about to depopulate the kingdom of hell right now never forget this day for as long as you live some of you are rededicating your lives some of you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time i don't care what category Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I surrender my life to you. I repent of my old ways. I accept the free gift of eternal life. I receive it in my spirit. And I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Satan, stay away from my life. I've made my choice. Jesus is my Savior. I've made my choice. Jesus is my Lord. Father, preserve these ones in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let this not be an emotional decision. Let it be a sincere decision from the depths of your heart. And I break the power of sin over your life. The weight that doth easily beset you, I crush it right now in the name of Jesus. I release you the righteousness of God is at work in your life. And for those of you who have come sick, I'd like you to relax and watch the mighty one step into your life. Hallelujah. Now, in one minute, you will come back. We're about to start the healing session right now. So please, just walk this way. Follow the ushers. They'll just have your details and you come back quickly and join us in the service. Celebrate them, everybody. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Young and old alike. Lift your hands, everybody, and say, visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Pray in one minute, everyone. Lift your hands and say, Lord, the time has come. 
I'm tired of this sickness. The time has come. I need a prophetic word that will take me to the next level of my life. Please pray. Pray and say, Lord, visit me. Visit me. Please, ushers, be fast with them. Be fast with them so that they can return back. Everyone begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just begin to pray in one minute. Hallelujah. 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 There is nothing we can do without you. Jesus, reveal yourself in a mighty way. Let the sick be healed, O God. So many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles breakthroughs, marriages, jobs, healings and deliverances. Lord, we thank you for that which you will be doing. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sorry about the congestion. Um, protocol and ushers, please walk together to make everything fast. Hallelujah. Before we start the healing session, I just want to do something very quickly. It's Mike's birthday. Come here, Mike. Hallelujah. I told him I was going to give him a surprise. Hallelujah. Celebrate him. A lovely music director. Hallelujah. Mike, we love you. God bless you. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Ask the Lord to make him better than he is. Very faithful worker. Pray and bless him. We speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will never be small. We speak over your life. You will do mighty things. Because of you, the worship team will step into a greater dimension. Hallelujah. I hear in my spirit greatness, greatness, greatness. The Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness. This new season is a greatness, is a, is a level of greatness and prosperity. You will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you the lord is determined to do it bless his hands oh god may this be so in his life in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord jesus christ please lift your hands the power of god is strong in this place lord we give you praise Visit us, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my God, and help me. Just play the keyboard for me and then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way. Instrumentalist, let's work together now. Hallelujah. Please hurry up as soon as you get down your name. Just return. There will be a very mighty impartation in this place hallelujah 
not deliverance impartation God is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people it's going to be a wild fire of the spirit hallelujah strings please exalted high above the worship of the people of the year i see the lord i see He's the Lamb upon the throne. Please, everyone, lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen, listen please. The Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing, are in this place. This is a very, very prophetic moment. Now the Lord is going to be moving from inside and outside. And he's going to be separating certain people. This is not deliverance, although that can happen. This is a heavy impartation. The weight of God is about to mantle people in very strong ways. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, all those who belong to this category, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. My God. Lord, at the count of three, let there be a wild move of the Spirit. One, two, three. Shekete, rekete teketa, no comprende skete, lekete rebos. Outside, bring them out, bring them out. Touch an impartation of fire. Let there be a separation. Retekete separate them oh God separate them oh God outside the power of God is falling now outside is hitting men right now like a tornado outside outside there are angels outside the power of God is falling like a wild fire a separation a separation take it take it take it take it take it it's a separation a wild fire let it engulf them oh god let it burn let the coal from the throne let the coal from the throne let it come upon visitors. Lord, those who are visiting in Koinonia, may they take the fire now. May the visitors take the fire now. There are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow. At the back, the overflow at the back outside the overflow at the back outside the fire of God is falling the overflow at the back outside the fire of God is falling There's an army rising up 
There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Yeah. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. There's an army rising up, come on. There's an army rising up. Yeah. There's an army rising up. Yeah. There's an army rising up. Shake it up, break it up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain. your hands. God is not done yet. I told you there will be a visitation. Listen, at the count of three, many people will enter visionary experiences right now. Visions, visions. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Visions. Visions. Take it. Take it. Visions. I open up prophetic realms. Take it. Take it. Visions, visions, visions. Hey, 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 hey. Step into realms of visions, prophecy, visions, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions, visions. Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. In this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row now, now. This row. Take it. 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 Take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. Gande la kata te kata. Rakata pande brende keta. So prote pente ke. Rektes kete. Rekete. 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 Rekete te te. A protoscope brekete, brekete. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposkete na. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. Kete kete le ba 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 ba. Le kere re 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 mo. Le kete protoscope ba ba ba. They will break every chain. They will break every chain. Sit at 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 at
under the power of God and it will follow to that road. Open the floodgates of heaven, O oh God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto prete kete teta. Repete kete tete ba. Som prete kete la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah, the Lord is giving me the name of someone, Sarah, Sarah, just leave them, don't worry, don't, don't scatter what God is doing, hallelujah, God is bringing deliverance to your family, hold my hands, it ends now, 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 now be delivered I cast that devil I cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost hallelujah we will have a visitation tonight lift your hands I want to call spirits that are responsible for marital delay every spirit wife every spirit husband many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you some of you are already out you came out for impartation lift your hands at the count of three the fire of the spirit will be separating men every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus lord as they shout jesus i expose every devil and it leaves them forever. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Now. I call spirits. I call spirits. Marital delay. I call spirits. Every marital delay. I cause you. I open doors of marriages now. Doors of marriage be open. Every spell, every enchantment, every act of divination. Right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire now. I challenge altars. I challenge thrones. I challenge spells. We break every chain. We break every chain. We break every chain. We break every chain. 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 
Break every chain. Break every chain. Let her go now. Go. Let her go now. Go. Be free. Lay your hands on your stomach. God is setting you free. The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. It's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 come. Please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, is that, lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Let her go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? At times like this, she does. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan, let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out, out, kate paratapa. I return her back to sanity. Every madness out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out, out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you every altar speaking against everyone tonight it will catch fire this night in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you jesus liver stand up stand up and follow me stand up by yourself and follow me stand up come follow me stand up walk Come, come. Come on, 
Can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Look at look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady. Huh? Look at, are you seeing for meeting? Look at the things that the devil has done. Bastardize this lady's life. Look at me. What's your name? Lester. What's your name? Lester. What's your name? Lester. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say I am fine. She literally ate her mouth and injured it like that. Look at, you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say I am fine. I'm fine. Say I am fine. It never returns to you again. Stretch your hands and say it's over. This deliverance is over. If there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family. When they get to a point, something hits them down. And that's the end of it. No matter what happens. This is what the Lord is showing me. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands. Because this is, I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King, let this thing end right now. Because this thing is not just with you alone. It's with your family members. My God, let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Madam. This is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk huh? it's chalk writing as in his writing is he a teacher a lecturer. he's a lecturer this is death coming on him and we have to break it are you getting that now do you believe it if you don't believe i will just leave you before you now turn and say this person the reason why we say this is because i understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something, people just think that, ah, this person has done this and that. Are you getting my point now? I must not, see, God must not show me what is happening to her husband for him to be delivered. I hope you know that. The word of God is potent enough to deliver the person. You understand? But God does these things as a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A family is about to be delivered right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. A family is about to be delivered right now.
delivered now. I'm not speaking. Out! Now! I hear the chains falling. Two of you, come. Are you related? Come, come, come. Two of you. Yes. What's your relationship? Eh? Is your boss. You are learning to sew in his place. Don't laugh. I don't mean love relationship. I mean, what's your relationship? Huh? Because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you. Suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. Uh, ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very... Please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. True. There's everybody. It's not like every. This is death. This is delay marriage. Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me. Do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Something's moving, something's changing. She is lonely, feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. over your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase. Mighty increase. Coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage broken. Outside broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. 
I release her and her family out out that cause of hardship out the Lord is bringing increase for your father I'm seeing traditional things these are herbal things I'm seeing in a shrine the Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family Lord confirm your word I've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of Jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby hold my hands I take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus this garment of shame go be set free be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Eunice 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 Lord is ministering to me. A lady called Eunice. Who is that? Please, if it's your name or someone related, we have to save time. Eunice. Gabriel. 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 I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digits. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? It's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, de did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out why did you stay back this is what is giving legal access say after me lord jesus lift your hands say after me lord jesus i'm serious with my relationship with you i make up my mind to stop playing games from tonight i'm a genuine child of god 
women out of his life every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing I cause you be free my God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus name Eh? All of you are Eunice. Is she married? God is visiting your family. Out! There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you. Nobody cares. Nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in a way. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. The Lord is not even talking about you. He's talking about your elder ones. I've seen them. It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring out. Lord, let it be over now. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. What is happening to you is happening to her. At the same time. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. It's the same thing that is happening to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake outside. I command. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried. The blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now.
Catch fire now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliverance. Every altar, the children that have been buried, I command the earth. Share ye the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance. Massive deliverance. Now. Now. I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Every serpent. Every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the Spirit. For the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. I hear you. You will hear testimonies. They will carry the dead bodies of men. Those who are found, they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go. I command the vengeance of God. Let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine. Let the dagger of God's judgment, I command it. If I be an apostle of God, I command it. Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on, lift your hands and worship Hallelujah You have won it all for me You have won Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come out, but lay your hands. Something miraculous will happen in this place right now. Wherever you are, lay your hands. Some you're laying your hands, but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands, just lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. The moment I pray for you, the power of God is already healing people right now. Check yourself. The moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you, maybe not everybody, just run out and come and stand here. There will be an explosion of miracles. You must celebrate what God is doing. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established? Hallelujah. Lay your hands now. And while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was present to heal. The Bible says, And when the even was come, they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. We don't fake it in this place. A miracle is about to happen. As I begin to command, please check yourself. 
start doing what you could not do this is the point where your faith is needed hallelujah in the name of jesus the son of the living god and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit and lord i pray right now as i begin to declare i want you to shout a loud amen miracles are already happening in the name of jesus blind eyes be open now blind eyes every eye condition be healed now be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now god is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now that's ulcer being healed god is healing ulcer ulcer you will feel fire burning on your chest ulcer is being healed right now i give you the praise i give you the praise i give you the praise lump in the breast lump in the breast the right breast lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now i cost that spirit i cost that spirit by the prophetic word this lady is going to start coughing things out she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Migraine headache. Every kind of migraine. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem i command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of jesus There are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach i cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil i don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from november last year you don't need to come out from november last year You've only seen your period twice. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I restore order to your body. Now, I restore order. The power of God is moving to this effect. I restore order now. Now. Hallelujah. Please begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. A tooth problem has been healed. I give you the praise, Lord. A toothache, tooth problem, serious tooth problem. The Lord is healing it right now. Right now. 
right now right now Lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now I really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since pastor Jake is here we can lay hands faster on the sick do I need to call the sick to come out is that a good idea answer now let's work together because I know there are people you are still not satisfied okay please and please if you've been healed just stay back especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God please come out and line up thank you Jesus worship rain is falling down healing rain is falling down I'm not afraid I'm not afraid Who brought, who brought our daddy? He came on his own. He came on his own. What's wrong, sir? Difficult in walking. Difficult in walking. Your leg? What happened, sir? I don't feel. One day I just feel like they are bad. I can't weak. Your leg is weak. I'm going to pray for you, daddy. And Jesus will heal you right now. Hold my hand, sir. Don't worry. Just sit down. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come. Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. 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 Just turn. Turn. By yourself. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving the miracle. In the name of Jesus, are you seeing the power of God now? only as God healed you daddy God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten everything the palmer worm has eaten because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October they would have buried you first week of October this is what the Lord is showing me but in the name that is above all names four years, four years now for four years this has been the devil had wanted to destroy you i'm seeing first week of october they would have buried you but in the name that is above all names the bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the lord 
but the earth has he given so all earth i forbid you from taking this man's body in the name of jesus he will live long he will live strong and for every one of you praying for him may your family members live long in the name of the lord jesus daddy we are going to walk one more time look at look at he's so excited to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil come and walk again daddy walk hallelujah hallelujah please take him to his seat the lord perfects him in the name of jesus worship him help us let's save him You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. will set the whole family free Kai this is witchcraft acute witchcraft you know you need a miracle right huh you came here trusting God huh what did the doctors tell you wait now I need to pray for you huh the leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. 
Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. Touching me all the time. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam. Listen. The, I told you it's death. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They've, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. If there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now, together with the leg issue. Your leg will start moving now, supernaturally by itself. Your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Hallelujah. look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand I'm seeing a coffin in the spirit. They have finished this girl since last year. This girl you are seeing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am dead. I am. Father, change this girl's story i bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of jesus christ out now out now out now in the name of jesus I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death I command your exodus now in the name of Jesus. Let's save time. Thank you, Jesus. Free. She's in the hospital. Set her free. In the name of Jesus.
saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against Jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice is when you don't know who you are I think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused Wash it. Too. are you ready now give us that song sing anything even if you don't know the fashion just sing the one you know are you ready now
Aleluya. 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 Don't tempt me in the name of Jesus. Don't tempt me. O tu akachi neke. Not my fault. Service not allowed. Yeah. Jehovah will give you all the way. the worship team. Drama. Be careful. In Jesus' name. Hey. If we don't finish here on time, you will sleep here. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. <laughs> Mommy, be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usher, start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say, yes, he is mighty to say. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10 just 1 to 10 if you are more than 10 keep them 1 to 10 please bring them out 1 to 10 mothers if you are tired give somebody to hold the child and come with it please just hurry up let's save time while we collect it please if you are not interested, you can sit back, please. Bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. Grace. 
teach me how to hold you before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. The baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Shake up at the balada bagata bed. Rete le banda brandos ko parada balata skepetikata. God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says, Children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray. I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray. Hallelujah. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level, and you just come and march out here, please, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men, every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Lady, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please. Let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus, everything that makes your brain dull, we command that you are not dull. In the name of Jesus Christ, bring her please in the name of Jesus Christ baby grow in the fear of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah 
now if you know honestly please don't play games with god here you know that you are trusting god to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle walker. God is a glorious Sing it one more time. You are ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming we break it from the realm of the spirit now may that married man never call you again i know you have been getting money from him but the relationship is hereby declared none and void you must choose to walk in holiness and integrity hallelujah there are people standing here that there are powers and thrones please lift your hands and horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage you are a very pretty lady but nobody can look at you the moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you something just happens and scatters it there are some of us you are guys you are, you are a hard-working and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names, listen, this is an apostolic ministry. We are not ashamed the bible says i am not ashamed of the gospel every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom we will preach it and we will set people free lift your hands you will be very surprised i said it at the beginning of the year that god told me there will be surprise marriages even people who did not believe and expect listen let me give you a revelation my Bible says male and female he created them. What and what? Did he say female and female? Did he say male and male? That means ladies, there is a male counterpart for you. You believe that? I'm going to pray for the man, not a man. Are you getting me? Not one man meandering around and you say let me manage, time is going. No. You can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave you cannot manage marriage lift your hands let's first destroy these altars of Baal. see that ababa get ready because the power of god is about to shatter spells into pieces father everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the lord jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one two three
decree right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he is walking in this earth right now just like boas located root i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now go and return with your testimony please rise up everybody pastor jakes please come pastor jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request listen friends we have a god that answers prayers there are just few minutes and we'll be out of here hallelujah hallelujah please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with god get go ahead and pray Father, we pray. Rabala baka shi para gale bondo si para bale brega lele le boko sa. Rakata na raba si te bale bondo braga la la baria raba kasanda raba ligede. Riha ta sa para bago dia de bale brega de 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 boko sa ni raba da. In the rakata da bato para kata bale brega la la baria raba do baria. Rakoto pa ya rakata ni raba raba raba. Ende brega lele bondo braga do bale brega la la baria kada. Rakata ya raba la la baria bade bade. Rakata bade baria raba raba da. Enda rakata la ba raba da la ba raba da. Rakata ba ha shapa raba da. Rakata li ba raba ba 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 ba. Enda reke le 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 ba kosi ba la ba da. Raba to saliyando ho. Imanda katoja ila barus aliyando. Iga boja ila raunda as ila paliendo. Resula Italia rusa indo ko. Iamba uada wabula da yondelu. Riakula a uacha kayuna ma uadu ya 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 biala ruma uba ura gana Rusia na makondo robo kosi kama. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for it to building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise. 
dead spiritual lives let it rise the grace of God comes upon families in the blessed name of Jesus we speak to barren cases family challenges in the name of Jesus it ends we speak to divorce cases aha Lord for those trusting you for you to bring back their loved ones fathers in the name of Jesus we ask that fathers come back home in the name of Jesus we call for missing people we ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the angels of God bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus and Lord we speak right now into the highway aha Lord for our loved ones traveling right now Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the hand of God will be upon them the Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we give you praise we give you glory for every prayer point here Lord he receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray and the church of God says hallelujah As God's servant has prayed, we convert this prayer request to testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please everybody stand. Inside and outside. Please rise. Something must change in your life right now. And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless and this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child. He said, for many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction. And I command, receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now every area of your life break through now receive break through now shake it every limit every limit i smash it in the name of jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command you to start walking now. Start walking now. Every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward, there is a voice. Listen, the Bible says, in six things shall he deliver you, Job 5. He said, yes, seven things. He said in the time of famine you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command 
every scourging tongue against your destiny be silenced now 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 to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon will they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now I cause barrenness record to second day record to second day And Jesus said every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and the sons of the prophet told Elisha he said where we meet with you is too small come let us go beyond the Jordan and the Bible says while they were felling the tree at Jordan the axe head fell and they said alas master for it was borrowed and the prophet said where did it fall and he threw a stick and the earth head began to float I reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only God can change it may that God change it now every situation in your life that only God can change may that God change now change it now change it now That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the heathen the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows 
and the bible says esther went in and when the king saw her he said esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life we break protocols tonight and we command that god will take you there may my god take you there may my god take you there hallelujah and the man who was crippled from birth he needed a miracle but there was no man to help him and the bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him it's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way i prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise i call them into your life now 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 hallelujah the bible says thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about genesis 24 verse 1 and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things how many things how many things every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing the bible says naaman second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he was a mighty man the bible says but he was crippled i pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of god let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down he said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can god take me back to this level again some of you are asking can i go back to the level of anointing i used to function in again can god take me to that level of grace again my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you in the name of the lord jesus christ and now i pray for you may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord lift up his face before you may he lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace in the name of the lord jesus christ give god praise in the name of jesus dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon, and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.